Hi everyone, today I wanna to share with you my minimalist makeup collection. If you've been following this channel for a while, you might remember that about a year ago, I chucked out all of my MAC makeup and switched to an all natural, non-toxic makeup collection. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the cards. Since then, I've acquired a few more items, including three shades of eyeshadow and a powder eyeliner, so I wanted to finally update you guys and show you the completed collection. I like to go for a more natural look, and Jennifer L. Scott talks about this in her book, Madame Chic, that when she was walking around Paris, she'd look at different French women and she couldn't really tell if they were wearing makeup or not. And she referred to this as le no makeup look. The collection I'm about to show you is perfect for that kind of look. Now it is flexible. If you would like to have a more dramatic eye, you can do that with this collection. I don't personally wear lipstick, so if you do, you could also add that in as well. I have 11 products, some of them are packaged together, and three brushes, and I'm gonna show you those now. Afterwards, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I went with the specific brand I did and the ingredients in the products. While I was researching what kind of natural makeup that I wanted to invest in, I found that a lot of the brands out there that claim to be a certain percentage organic or all natural actually still had many questionable or toxic ingredients. And if you've looked into this yourself, I'm sure you've found it's hard to find a company that does everything perfectly. So I want to talk a little bit about why I went with the products that I did. First of all, I don't live in an English speaking country and I move around a lot. So I need a product that is really easy to get internationally and doesn't charge $30 to $50 for shipping. Almost all the products I've shown you today can be found on iHerb.com and they offer free shipping to many countries around the world or very cheap shipping for even a big box so they have been a lifesaver for me. Secondly, why I went with the brand Ecobella is because their products are free of parabens, water, they actually use organic aloe vera instead of water, alcohol, talc, FD&C dyes, and any animal products except for carmine and beeswax. So that means all of their products are vegan except their cover-up which contains beeswax and a handful of their lip products which contain carmine. I would like to note that their mascara and natural foundation do contain a preservative known as rose ether. I'm gonna put the exact ingredients in the text because I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Another good thing is that none of their products contain gluten or wheat. This company is also 100% cruelty free and they founded their company based on those values. One of the last things I like about Ecobella is that they do make an effort to reduce the packaging and they try to get rid of plastics when at all possible. And you can see that their compacts are made out of paper and they use a magnet system so every piece is refillable and you can customize the palette exactly how you want. If something runs out, you can simply replace that color and you don't need to buy a new compact. Also, if you wanted to completely avoid the compacts altogether, you could simply order the refillable discs 
and put them into your own case as long as it has a magnet lining. I also wanted to mention that you can check the toxicity levels of your current makeup collection by searching them in the EWG database. I hope you enjoyed learning about my makeup collection. I'd love to hear what your favorite products are. I'm always open to suggestions, so please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.